This is the time of year where we start to get into where people are looking for the newest and official information on the next Call of Duty project. And for the first time recently, we actually seem to have a good indication as to when that will be and what we'll be seeing in that span of time. So today, I wanna to take a look at COD 2024 and the reveal window upcoming for what's currently rumored, but perhaps soon to be confirmed to be called Black Ops Golf War. Drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoy and or are looking forward to what Treyarch is cooking up and subscribe for more coverage going into what is all going to be coming out for COD 2024 and Black Ops Golf War. We're going to have a lot of stuff here very soon, it seems like, so I'd love to have you along for the ride. But anyways, recently it was reported that Black Ops Golf War may be getting shown to us a bit earlier than normal compared to the last few years. Historically, Call of Duty games of the past five years have been revealed as follows. Modern Warfare 2019 was revealed on May 30th of 2019, Black Ops Cold War August 26th of 2020, Vanguard August 19th of 2021, Modern Warfare 2 June 8th of 2022, and this past year, Modern Warfare Warfare 3 was revealed on August 17th, 2023. So historically speaking, the larger number of the COD games revealed for the entirety of the franchise have come more in line with like Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2, those earlier reveal times. But since 2020, the majority of the past few games have been much, much later in the year. That's due in part, as we've discussed before, to Warzone. With its launch in March of 2020, the first free-to-play mainline offering for Call of Duty, that was a huge investment on the end of Activision. They weren't about to just be like, oh yeah, here's the next thing already, just about a month and a half to maybe like three months after that launch of something so big. So instead, they waited until nearly half a year later, let Warzone catch its wind, and then use that as a jumping off point, where for the first time in COD history, we had a reveal event in-game. Not like the in-person reveal events of like Black Black Ops 4, or where you had COD XP, a public event where you could see Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, but an in-game event to reveal Black Ops Cold War. It was a brilliant marketing plan, honestly, because it got players online, it got them playing Warzone, boosting those numbers, it showcased the game upcoming in a way that didn't require them to otherwise partner with or maybe pay to promote the game like they'd sometimes have to do in prior years, like say attaching itself to E3, but instead, everything was controlled in their own product and using said product to drive to another of their own products. Every step of that line was controlled and owned by the COD IP. The only deviation since Warzone has been the introduction of Modern Warfare 2, a game that was revealed in June of 2022 and was something that frankly was a hugely anticipated reveal. I'll be blunt, I didn't like a lot of what Modern Warfare 2 did throughout the game's life cycle, but it is undeniable, love the game or hate the game, that the hype pre-launch was unbelievably high. So. Following a game that appeared to be a Frankenstein creation of a game, a continuation of Sledgehammer's prior World War II setting built on Modern Warfare 2019's upgraded engine, utilizing just about everything we had seen in Modern Warfare 2019 gameplay-wise with different guns, a campaign and story that was honestly it didn't go anywhere, and a third zombies mode that was cobbled together last second and barely got any support post-launch. It was a filler year that Activision just wanted to get out of and turn to a game that was hotly anticipated and at that point would have the longest development time of any prior COD project uninterrupted. Sound familiar? Because that's almost exactly a one-to-one -one situation with what we have this year. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I think Modern Warfare 3 is the game that Modern Warfare 2 should have been, and I really do enjoy the game when I decide to jump on and play, but it's absolutely a filler year in the grand scheme of things, and the game was pretty much cobbled together. With a game that is supposedly going to have four years of development by the time it's launched in October, this is now going to be the longest development window we've seen for any COD game, and Activision absolutely wants to, again, get to that hotly anticipated release, get to that talking point where everybody's buzzing about Call of Duty again, and they know that they'll make bank off that. And that's where the newest report come in from earlier this week out of Insider Gaming and Tom Henderson. It's reported it's been a wild 24 hours for the Xbox showcase rumors and now Tom Warren at The Verge is reporting that this year's Call of Duty title Black Ops Golf War will also be featured at this year's Xbox showcase. Insider Gaming can corroborate that this is the plan but the game is currently set to be revealed prior to the showcase in a more traditional fashion and outside of Warzone. Since 2020 previous Call of Duty titles have been revealed as a live event in the free-to-play battle royale which attracts millions of players during the event. It's understood that Black Ops Golf War will be revealed prior to Summer Games Fest in June. The showcase will feature some form of deep dive into the game, presumably a campaign mission walkthrough if they go traditional. We could then hear more about its multiplayer offering around August and Zombies soon after. Call of Duty Black Ops Golf War is to be released in October. So a few key dates to keep in mind out of this reporting and the seemingly natural interest to reveal the game earlier rather than later. The key dates, Summer Games Fest happens on June 7th and the Xbox showcase is reportedly 
June 9th at this point. Now, Summer Games Fest, this is a presentation hosted by Jeff Keighley, just like opening night live for Gamescom later in the summer every single year. Every year in recent years, one of Jeff's presentations has had COD attached to it in some way, shape, or form, whether opening night live or Summer Games Fest. But there's always something COD related. Some have included things like last year's SGF had the Vondel reveal for season four. Years prior have included things like the Darkwater mission for Modern Warfare 2 and the campaign there. Opening Night Live has often showcased campaign missions, including the ones for Cold War and Vanguard, the Perseus cutscene and the Stalingrad mission showcase. So there's gonna be something here. One thing to keep in mind is that if we're seeing these partnerships as reported, they will not be the main events for where the game is fully revealed. We're not gonna see a global worldwide reveal of the game for the first time at Summer Game Fest. It'd be perhaps possible that they do that with Xbox's showcase, given that Microsoft now owns the IP. I mean, that'd be a huge draw for sure to show off the rest of the games that they had, but with the headliner being a worldwide reveal for COD. But if Summer Game Fest is first, as is scheduled, that'd make no sense. So the reveal would have to be before Summer Game Fest, meaning that Summer Game Fest is likely to showcase, as historically done so, a campaign mission of some kind shortly thereafter that worldwide reveal. The Xbox showcase just a few days later could reiterate on that campaign mission, but presumably with a larger deep dive of the game in some capacity. It's never specified what that would be, but honestly, one other thing that I think would make a larger new reveal that they'd show off in relation to COD for the Xbox showcase would be the mention reporting that past Call of Duty titles are looking likely to show up as a part of Game Pass, which would likely be an Another perfect fit for an Xbox showcase, not just COD, inferring more than just one game. Okay, but if we have an idea of what's to come in those two events, what about a full worldwide reveal? When would that be? Well, if we're going to see a more traditional reveal for Black Ops Golf War here upcoming, it's got to be in early June or perhaps a little earlier. But with the mention of it coming in early June, when exactly could that be? Historically speaking, again, we saw these dates of Modern Warfare 2019 being May 30th, Black Ops Cold War being August 26th, Vanguard being August 19th, Modern Warfare 2 being June 8th, and Modern Warfare 3 being August 17th. Well, if you look back at that historically, we also know the dates that those happened. Modern Warfare 2019 was a Thursday, Cold War was a Wednesday, Vanguard was a Thursday, Modern Warfare 2 was a Wednesday, and Modern Warfare 3 was a Thursday. A strange back and forth pattern there for sure. Not saying that we're guaranteed to see a Wednesday this year, but a Wednesday to Thursday tag team as a day of the week to look forward to might not be a bad estimation. Now, if the reports are accurate and early June is indeed when we see everything kick off, well, you're looking at a worldwide reveal on June 5th or June 6th, which would mean a ton of stuff was coming out in the following days. A worldwide reveal on the 5th or 6th, the 7th, a campaign mission, ninth, a deeper dive or additional information. It's a pretty busy week, huh? But it is possible to see that happen even earlier. Absolutely. But I wouldn't say anything too earlier. I'd wager the earliest we end up seeing is like a week before that, Wednesday, the 29th of May, which again, historically speaking, has been in that window of opportunity that we've seen for the entirety of the COD franchise. But early June is looking like that target window here for Black Ops Golf War. And honestly, those dates aren't half bad to look at if you're throwing darts at the board. I wouldn't necessarily expect anything for the rest of April here, probably not for the most of May. Maybe we start to get some teasers here, maybe like middle of May saying like, hey, something's coming or like COD starts to maybe change their profile picture, put a different background as their header on Twitter or something like that. We don't know, but they've done that kind of stuff to sort of tease an upcoming reveal of some kind in the past. But for right now, I'd stick towards late May, early June. But anyways, that's where we're at here at this. That's the new report that we've seen recently and a little bit more of a precise look at when we can expect to see, officially speaking, COD 2024 and what very well may turn into being Black Ops Golf War. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this here? Are you looking forward to Black Ops Golf War and what Treyarch's cooking up? Whatever the case, let me know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Black Ops Golf War and everything upcoming, as well as other FPS content here on the channel. I'd love to have you. For now, though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.